Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bhafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. Welcome to Anypoint Custom Policy Part 2. In Part 1, we have seen like how we can generate a custom policy a project using Maven archetype and we have set up uh, Anypoint platform username the password in the settings.xml and we have set up the profile for the Maven archetype custom policies. In this video, we will see how we can define a structure okay how we can like uh, write the implementation of your custom policy the first thing we have to go to this particular file mule logging demo.yaml and i will define what are the fields i need to log correct so the first thing it will come as a which is important property name so I will say log expression so basically you can provide the expression whatever you want to log that you can provide that particular expression basically okay and apart from that you can uh, this is the log expression this is kind of field name you know uh, your variable log expression it's a property basically then you can define a name so how it should be display on the screen name I can say log expression then you can define description provide expression to log then you can provide a type I will say it is of type string uh, I instead of string I will say it's of type expression because we will provide a mule expression for logging okay so we have provide a expression now uh, I can provide a default value if you want so I can say example hash payload dot headers some text okay so this is just my example default value is it optional I will say it's not required it's optional it's sensitive no I will say not sensitive it's false so we have defined one property okay so it here you can write any kind of mule expression now the second property I, I want to log a request payload if it was checkbox checked in the checkbox so I can say request payload then same you can provide name so request payload okay you can provide description check a request payload needs to log okay description is provide type so type is boolean right optional yeah it's optional okay this is optional true uh, sensitive I will say false yeah default value you can write it or you can ignore also it's not necessary I will copy this same thing I provide type optional default value is not that compulsory if you want to provide it you can provide it now this is my response payload request response payload check if you want to payload response payload boolean true so I define a three property let me save it Okay, we cannot test on any point studio, so we will deploy it. I still I haven't 
write any implementation i haven't written any backend logic but still i will show you how we can do the deployment so for deployment just make sure settings.xml is properly you have configured your any point user name and the password then i can go to my users my workspace i'm basically going to my workspace i don't know where is my workspace it's mule demo let me check mule logging demo yeah it's this is the policy i can say cmd i can say mvn clean install first we can build it let's see if it successfully build it then we will use mvn deploy to deploy our policy and always verify uh, while deploying this organization number is perf correct you know otherwise uh, it will not deploy the policy this organized number should be belong to your organization this group id in this url also so i will pause the video till it's uh, uh, like building the solution guys welcome back and i got this error you know why i got this error i will tell you so basically there is one library which is part of mule enterprise edition like uh, mule enterprise nexus okay so for you that you required you know uh, username and the password for now i don't have that username and the password this is basically this library is basically used when you are modifying a uh, request or the response payload or if you are adding any headers or query parameter in that case we require the this particular dependency mule http policy transform extension this provide various operation where you can change the request payload response payload you can add header you can change the query parameter you can add the header for now i don't require this dependency i can remove it okay i can save it then try let's give try once again So guys, I will pause the video till it's download all the dependency. Guys, welcome back. So this has been completely, you know, uh, installed, like built successfully. Now I will deploy it. MVN. I can say MVN deploy. Okay. so now it will deploy this particular policy into your mule exchange so let's wait for that your organization number should be correct otherwise it will give error 401 and also make sure your settings dot xml is correctly configured otherwise you will get 500 401 409 whatever error Okay. So it's uploading your policy. You can see it's uploading all the data required for policy. So it has been built successfully. Now let me verify a exchange server. I can go to Mule Exchange. and you can see your policy is in mule exchange this is my mule logging demo i have just published on 28 october and this is my version now i can go to this particular api manager and i can show you policy okay this is my api manager I have this particular instance I can click on this and I can go to policies I can apply new policy and you can see our policy at the top mule login demo and I can add 1.00 snapshot configure policy So here you can see a log expression 
a request payload and the response payload so you can see those options which we have configured on the policy here you can provide any mule expression like payload whatever dot something okay and here if you want a request response but we haven't written any backend logic so we will not apply the policy for now then what we will do we will write actual backend logic and we will apply the policy okay so for that I will go to my template dot XML okay so in my template dot XML I will go to template dot XML okay so what I will do uh, let me go to template dot XML I can remove this particular code I don't want it so I want a logger okay so you can pick the logger from any mule flow which you have so I might be having logger somewhere here so I can copy logger from here you can copy the logger from any of mule flow because I want to do the logging so this is my logger I will copy this logger then go to template.xml the first thing is control V also we want to bring this particular namespace okay the doc attribute so you can copy your namespace also because I don't have a doc attribute so you can go to top and search for any doc attribute is there yeah, you can copy this doc attribute for any of the mule flow and go to this template.xml and you can define this doc anywhere so now this error has gone so now I want to read this particular expression basically right whatever expression uh, defined in this particular log expression how can I do that anywhere any like you know it's very simple like you can use like you know it's the three curly bracket to read uh, any variable basically okay? so let me show that just give me a second So what you can do, you can go to template.xml instead of uh, this particular call resolver, you can write a three curly bracket, you can end with three curly bracket and write this log expression. That's it. Okay. So whatever expression you write, it will do, uh, it will write it. Now the second is request payload. So when we want to write a request payload if it is true right so for writing this you can always use curly bracket has if request payload is true right then you can end if like this copy this part instead of this I will simply write has payload simply it will read a payload if there is any payload in the request okay same thing I will copy this now whatever I have to log after the response basically right so I will say so as I mentioned whatever you write after next it will execute whenever the response come so I am just say checking if the response payload is checkbox okay so you can uh, like log the response payload right, so this is how you can write if so I have write my all the logic in the backend I will save the thing so I want to show you something now if I try to deploy it I should get 409 
okay i got the 409 because you cannot de deploy the policy again with the same version you need to change this version basically 1.0.1 .1. now you can go to template.xm and no need to go there so just save it and try to redeploy it Okay, so it has been built successfully. Now you can go to Exchange and let's check what is the new version. Uh, sorry, it's Exchange. I click on the wrong button. It should contain more version. So you can see logging policy. It's there with two versions. 1.00 1.01 okay so what we have learned in this video so how we can write the implementation for the template or yaml you have defined okay i hope you like this video thanks for watching in next video we will see some more concept and we will try to apply the policy and we will test it if you like my video please click on like and subscribe button